Okay, let's add the text. In case you forgot, on the upper left hand side, I want to go ahead and add New Orleans and then down here, come out and play. Okay, to do that, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I am on the text layer, which I am, and I'm going to minimize that. I'm going to type using my text tool first by clicking on the text tool and then I'm going to go ahead and define the area that I want to type into. Next, I'm going to go up here and choose the character that I want to use. I'm going to go ahead and for now use a fancy font. I also want it to be size that people can read and I'm going to type new and since I want to be able to control this text frame in relationship to the other text frames, I want to go ahead and create another text box. So I'm going to click here again and then type the word New Orleans or in this case Orleans. And I wanted this to be a different font. I'm going to go ahead and choose Trajan Pro and I'm going to make it big. All right, whenever you see this, it just means that the box is not big enough. So I'm going to go ahead and make it wide enough so you can see it. And now I have new, and then I'm going to move Orleans right here, and now I have new Orleans. So I want to go ahead and select that box. That's using the black tool, the selection tool. Hold the shift key. This selects this text right here. So now both of them are selected. But before I do anything else, I am going to go ahead and change the color for the text because if I just move the text here, you're not going to be able to see it. So I am going to go ahead and move it over here and I'm going to go ahead and select the text tool, choose the text, and then to change or to, to find the color, you're going to go ahead and go down here. You're going to double click on the T. This will go ahead and give you the color picker and then you can go ahead and choose the color you want first you have to highlight the text then you go here and select the color you want in this case I want white okay and then you can select it and move it here and now you'll be able to see the word on white because it's on black New Orleans <laughs> Then we're going to go ahead and add a couple special effects, but not yet. Let me go ahead and do the other one. The other text that we want is going to be also a text box and it's going to go here. Okay. For this one, I'm going to choose a different font. Let's see. Let's use this one, Rage Italic. And then the size is going to be maybe 30 so you guys can read it. And then I'm going to type dot 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 com out and play now remember what happened here it's black on black so I can't read it so I'm gonna highlight it double click on the text tool then move my selector tool this is white and then click OK now I have white text but my box is not white enough so I'm gonna go ahead and move to my box and make it white enough white enough once I have it be as wide and the size as big as I want it, then I'm ready to go ahead and start adding some formatting and extra special effects. I will show you how to do that next.